हाउ गुड और हाउ बैड कुड अ कॉन्टेंट डिलीवरी नेटवर्क परफॉर्म वेल दैट कुड बी डिटर्मेंड एट द वेरी बेसिक लेवल यूजिंग अ मैथमेटिकल मॉडल ट्रू हाउ एवर इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन एसेसिंग द एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ लार्ज स्केल कॉन्टेंट डिलीवरी नेटवर्क देन वी मे हैव टू कैरी आउट एक्सपेरिमेंटल एनालिसिस फॉर दैट इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट अ वेरी वेल नोन एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम राज कुमार भैया इन द कॉन्टेंट डिलीवरी नेटवर्क बुक दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर विद यू इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सपेरिमेंट ओवरले नेटवर्किंग दैट इज ओवरले राउटिंग विच इज द राउटिंग बिटवीन पियरिंग एजेंट्स which does not involve the shortest paths is carried out and is compared to the direct or the shortest path now this experimental setup would be then used for creating some data and that particular data is analyzed and some uh, findings are made so what is the experimental setup the experimental setup is to collect the data to optimize the shortest paths and the indirect paths which are based on overlay Uh, between edge networks now what are edge networks edge networks are tier 3 or tier 4 networks which are residing either on the customer end or at the enterprise origin servers now these particular edge servers are uh, going to provision the objects which are requested by the client now this could be one direct delivery mechanism like shortest path routing or bgp routing but sometimes uh, because of uh, the um uh, assumption that everyone's going to take the shortest route the shortest path or the direct route turns out to be uh, more uh, uh, delay uh, oriented for that routing overlays are basically specialized devices which are routers or gateways in tier 1 networks which behave as an intermediate node for creating an indirect path between the server and the client the example platform that the uh, authors have adopted is from akamai akamai is a well known content delivery network platform so the measurements are done on uh, cdn clusters uh, the clusters are basically groups of servers uh, which are uh, spread over the whole world now the uh, uh, arrangement or the platform that the uh, authors have adopted is uh, 1100 clusters from over six continents and uh, 77 countries and you can see 630 cities there are 1100 cl clusters now these clusters are some of these are placed near the core servers around 15% of them and around 85% of them are near the edge servers uh the intermediate nodes actually uh, forward the traffic from the core servers because mostly the uh, the uh, the uh, edge servers or the um, origin servers are placed on the core isp so they use overlay routing to deliver the content to the clients now um, typically there is a, a, a important point that uh, typically uh, these uh, the servers in one cluster uh, are connected to a single service provider it's something which is pretty obvious but it was declared as one of the a uh, design principles for this particular uh, experimental study the data which was collected was collected using uh, simple programming of uh, automation of pinging so it's an ipm icmp echo request echo reply mechanism where 64 bytes of uh, requests were initiated from every uh, cluster to every other cluster so you can think about a mesh of 1100 clusters um so it was done every 2 minutes so correspondingly since the number of nodes was very large so around uh, 10 requests were being received every second at every node um this activity was performed for 4 uh, weeks um and uh, the duration was 1.5 hours um every day and the uh, each path actually between every node to every every cluster to every other cluster was uh, probed for 3780 times it means that this was repeated so many times to make sure that the readings 
uh, are uh, more average and there are hardly any anomalies so the total probes turned out to be 652 million it's a very large number so this actually is a good uh, reliable data that can be banked upon so the overall findings were in the represented in the form of some tuples that included the time stamping identifiers of source and destination the direct round trip time uh, the one hop shortest round trip time and uh, three hop shortest round trip time three hop, sh uh, hop shortest round trip time actually means that uh, the um, uh, indirect paths actually um, instead of uh, making direct trip go through up to three hops so this actually is the operation of how the overlay networking work the, this is more into the arrangement between different edge and core serve, uh, core clusters these clusters were placed across uh, different continents uh, seven continents and 15% uh, of these were the core uh, clusters and around 85% were the edge clusters so the uh, mnemonics or the abbreviations are obvious for asia it is as for south america it is sa now the findings uh, actually start with the data collection so you you can see we have data which is categorized as latency reduction percentage what is that it is actually the difference between the uh, latency incurred in direct delivery of the object from the server to the client and the overlay path that is 1 2 3 hops based round trip times now the difference between shortest path that is the direct path and the overlay based path Uh, actually uh, was represented in the form of these five columns so the first category is actually the autonomous system to autonomous system that is you can say a cluster to cluster category for example africa to asia now less than minus 10% actually means that the indirect path is in fact slower than the direct path that is against the intuitive argument that was being made then we have 10% which is comparable almost the direct and indirect path would incur the same delay and then we have marginal improvement that is 30% improvement in terms of time using indirect path or using overlay and then we have uh, 30 to 50% significant improvement and then we have um, the more than 50% that is the indirect path takes less than half of total time than it takes through the direct path now the analysis between uh, uh, of comparison between direct and indirect path uh, is going to help us evaluate the performance and then we can think about making some recommendations but for analysis the data set was divided into buckets that i have already explained the findings actually are that uh, the best indirect paths Uh, were ten uh, percent slower than the direct path. Uh, now, interestingly, around fifteen percent of the uh, paths between different clusters fell into this category. Now, was this argument uh, wrong that indirect paths result into better latency? Well, it is only fifteen percent. It means around eighty-five percent are the ones that have shown overall improvement. See. we have the 10% bucket where the direct and indirect are almost equal so 24.7% actually result into almost equal performance than direct path so it means that uh, we can think about uh, uh, 40% overall uh, scenarios or um, um, paths where the autonomous system to autonomous system traffic was uh, uh, being delivered almost equal to or less than equal to the direct path but overall the uh, results are quite encouraging you can see for 23.4% the overall uh, improvement in indirect path is marginal that is 30% up to 30% then up to 50% is 13% paths then uh, the double reduction in latency is for 23% of the paths this is a significant improvement so it means the overall argument that overlay networking results into better 
utilization in terms of throughput and latency um, is found to be correct. Now this is, uh, I just wanted to share with you that uh, look at it again and you can uh, make uh, even more interesting insights.